What are we doing, babe? What are we doing? Yeah. Making a friggin' headboard. Setting everything out? About to sweat our ass off. Yeah, in a minute. So we went to the hardware store this morning, bought all the lumber. Brian went to his parents' house and we got, I don't know what all this stuff is, but other stuff <laughs> to do this. So the plan is to DIY a headboard. So, oh, and a footboard. So. I'll come back when we've started. I don't know why we chose the hottest day ever. I feel stressed out that I'm going to watch you like cut your finger off while doing this. Mm, don't plan on it. Well, I don't think anybody plans on that, but. Evie's already asked us to be quiet once because she can't focus. So we've already made the two ones on the ground right there that he just dropped that one on is two of the headboard posts. And then I don't know what he's making right now. Footboard. The footboard posts. I'm already covered in sawdust and irritated, and we've been doing this for th like five minutes. So, BRB. Ten. On a scale of one to ten, how easy do you think this is going to be to do? Uh, like ten being easy? Yeah. Like an eight, probably? Okay. Pretty straight cuts. It's not too complicated. Okay. We did find it rather hard to find posts where people have done this previously and laid out exact instructions. Yeah. Detailed measurements and plans. Yes. So. We'll see. Famous last words. I'm just going to document this. <laughs> I figured out. What are they called? Saw horses? Sure. Whatever these things are. That the legs are adjustable. He didn't know that. And I was like, there has to be a way that these things, they look like they would be adjustable. Lo and behold, they are. I'm not totally useless after all. Very cool. Who to thunk it? I am smart. Thanks, Ev. Mm -hmm. All right, girls, what do you think about the... What's going on? It's awesome. What do you think, Char Bear? Hey. Awesome. Awesome? Yeah. The kids behind us that live behind us are screaming, so it's very loud. You want me to turn it off? Will you keep pushing the button? What you looking at, Rage? Yeah. Nothing. So, we will continue our process. And I'll just show you kind of how it goes along the way. So far, I think he has like 17 or 18 boards cut. Alright, what's the update, Rage? Uh, I just got back from the hardware store. Had to pick up some wood glue. And I'm going to start putting some of the pieces together. Mm. That's about it. Oh, fancy. Start screwing and nailing some wood together. Dad, Dad, you know that um, scooter thing is up there behind you? Alright. The Ooh, sled? The sled? No, the scooter thing and the white. Where are we at now? Uh, nailing. The uh, backboards together. 
the backboards? For the uh, headboard. Okay. So this will be the, well, this is the back, very back piece of it, but if you flip it over. That'll be the headboard piece. Our garage looks so good. <laughs> yeah. Please so ignore the clutter. Always a mess. I know, it's such a shit show. Down. You have all your fingers still. Nail away. Do you feel powerful with that thing? It's pretty cool. It's nail gun. I mean. Freaks Evie out. You don't like it, Ev? She doesn't like all that noise. Well, maybe don't stand so close, sis. She likes seeing the glue, though. Oh, you like the wood glue? That looks like just it. like her school glue. Oh. I'm gonna rub your feet. <laughs> Man, what are you guys doing in there? Rubbing your feet? And no, it's a bribe. She massages? thinks if she does that, then I'll play veterinarian. Yeah. No, it's fine. She's not bothering anything. I should take a cue. I'm gonna build something. Do you want to do the yoga? Mm, I don't know. I mean, it's not dangerous. <laughs> I think it is dangerous. Here, I'll hold the. No, I don't think we need Just to. Just watch me another couple more times. Okay. Oh, you really feel the air coming? Feel the what? Feel the air. Yeah. Okay, so we've gotten this far. Yeah, if you want to. <clears throat> so this will be the front. Yeah. So. I'm going to attach it to that with legs. And then we'll attach it to the legs that are down here. We'll come at you with the next part. Okay, so here it basically is. And we have a king size bed for reference. So all we have to do now is, Brian said, flip this over and then put screws in the back. And then this is done? Uh, no, the I headboard? Have to do some trim pieces on the top. Oh, the trim pieces on the top. Pretty much how it'll look. But this is how it will look. Okay, we'll come back when that part's done. That's for sure. Oh, sure. <clears throat> Brian's allergies are out of control. Yeah, so this is an All right. That's gonna be heavy as fuck. Oh my god. All right, so this is where we got day one. We'll still have to make the footboard, but this is done, right? Uh, yeah. Outside, I like sanding and. Painting and all that. Uh, I'll probably do some. I'll probably fill the gaps with um, caulk to give it a better finished look. And then I don't know if you want to distress it or if you just. We haven't really figured out how we're going to finish it. Yeah, the jury's out on what we're going to do to finish it or whatever. But. But. Yeah. I think it turned out okay. Yeah. It looked good. 
Um, the lighting's kind of weird because I'm kind of in the garage and kind of out, but. Well, here, step outside. Well, it's really good. There she is. Pretty quick, I think it took like, when I, from when I first started, two hours. Yeah. Two solid two and a half hours. I'm, I'm sure the footboard will go a lot quicker, but too bad. I'm happy with it. Are and, you? Yeah. And we'll list all the like tools and stuff that you used and needed uh, yeah, to make this easier. Yeah. And we'll do a link to the Pinterest yeah. page we use for all, it has all measurements and it's good instructions. But like the grips and the... The what? The grips? Whatever those things the were. Clamps? Yeah. Clamps. Those came in handy. So we'll list everything. Having the right tools always makes a big difference. That was helpful. So day one, this is where we're at. That's it. It's a wrap. It's a wrap. Deuces. <laughs> Need a shower. Yeah. Okay, peace. Bye, guys. Okay, I thought Brian was going to stop, but he decided to keep going. So, this is the progress he's made on the footboard. So, what's next? Just doing some more work with my Kleenex box. <laughs> so your allergies are so, oh my gosh. outrageous. Me. Anytime Brian works outside. He's a hot ass mess. Uh, what am I doing now? Yeah. Uh, the pork. I know that. Obvious. Uh, Did you say obvious? <laughs> <laughs> obvious. Obvious. But it's just the same, like. I just meant what's next now. Uh, I'm gonna put the legs together for the footboard, and then attach this to uh, those. They're called cleats. These will sit like this here, and then attach to there, and then you can do the uh, top trim pieces, two by four and a two by six, and that's a wrap. And then you're done. Um, other than we have to figure out how they connect to each other. Yeah. Yeah, I got to figure out how I'm going to anchor the uh, side panels too the header and the footer because we're keeping our box springs and our um, metal bed frame. You got some boobs the, wet there, Reach. The plans on the Pinterest instructions included, um, did not include for our box springs. Like they have instructions if you don't have box springs, you can build like slats and a platform underneath. But I'm not doing all that. It's a lot of lumber. Where I'm at. Mosquitoes. Sweating my ass off in here. Let I see that. Oh, Cleavage sweat. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And I'm inside fighting these kids. There's one right now who's not listening. I need to talk to you. What do you want to talk about? You got some big news? Okay, you're letting all my cool air out of the house. Shut Bye. The door. Dude. I don't want to play again. Bye. No, we're not doing that. We're getting ready for bed. Why aren't you eating dinner? Abby, shut the door, please. Go. In the house. Enjoy the air conditioning. All right, we're going to cut this off before. Yeah. <laughs> Bye. It's about to get rowdy. Okay, so we got the footboard done. We were going to stop. I say we. I didn't do anything. Brian was going to stop, but he decided to keep going. So here's the headboard and the footboard together. So now we just have to figure out how we're going to anchor them together and then what stain and or paint we're going to use on the two of them. Brian may or may not die from allergies. <coughs> Uh, pretty standard. <laughs> pretty standard for this big old schnoz. So pretty much 
anything outside. Yeah. Mowing. Got it done. Yard work. How long, how long did it take? What, it's uh, eight o'clock? Yeah. Four hours? Yeah. About four hours. So. Not a bad little project. No. I think it'll look good when it's done. Yeah, I think so. And we have never had a headboard or a footboard <laughs> nope. since we've been together, I don't think. I so. had a bare wall. Yeah. So now we just have to clean up the yard from the wood piles that the kids made. Yeah. And then. I need a shower. Yeah. It's still like super duper hot out here. So. Something fierce. Yeah. All right. We'll keep you updated. Okay, so, so far he's, you filled in all the holes, right? Yeah, I took wood putting and filled all the nail holes on the front. I didn't do the back though. I probably, I could have, but you're not going to see it anyway, so. Why are you yelling? What? You're yelling. I'm yelling? <laughs> yeah. No, I had my earbuds in. <laughs> he had his earbuds in, so he's yelling. It's like his new escapism. <clears throat> <laughs> um... Yeah, so I filled the, everywhere you'd see a nail or a screw head, I went ahead and filled that up um, with wood putty or wood filler. Uh, started, I already sanded the front. This is the back piece. That's why you can see all the nail holes there. I mean. And you have a mask on now so that you can maybe it's avoid. It's not for the COVID. It's so I don't get bad allergies. Cause this thing has like a, I bought this at Menards. Could you take it off while you talk? No. <laughs> yeah, I could. Um, it's got a little a dust trap, but it doesn't get everything, obviously, as you can see. Because, like we discussed in the other videos, anytime he does any work outside, he turns into, like, a sneezing maniac, and he, like, can't function. Yeah, it, I mean, it gave me a headache the next day, and I knew it was going to be bad. So. Yeah, he can't function. So, right now, he's sanding. <clears throat> this is the back, so the those holes are not filled in, but the lighting in the <laughs> this fucking mess in our garage um this side is the nail holes are filled in and stuff but the lighting is weird yeah. without the garage light I'm on just but... like sanding and rounding off the corners and the edges to make it look a little bit nicer and then once i'm done with that i'll probably wipe it down uh get as much of the dust off as i can and then start um painting should be a quick process from here we still haven't figured out how we're gonna I've got a pretty good idea. Oh, you know now? And some brackets, and Casey uh, gave me an idea of some- uh, His friend, Casey. Uh, like some, da taking some dowels and, and using that, but we'll see. Have you found a flower? So. Okay, so we have two coats of the chalk paint on now on the headboard and the footboard. So now we just have to wait for it to dry. And then the next step will be putting the wax on. Well, we'll de-stress it probably. Okay, we'll distress it first and then do the, and then do the wax. I think some people do the other way around. I would want to do that. Cause that's a protective coat. It keeps you, it keeps it durable. So okay, well, I was gonna do it last. We'll do the distressing next. So Brian's got to run to the hardware store and get the sandpaper that we're gonna do to do the distressing, and then Evie's painting the back a little bit, and then we'll do the wax, and then we have to put it together, and then we should be done. And then we got to carry this beast upstairs. Yep. So that should be fun. 
So we did leave like, we've been like carving out this part every time we've been painting because we liked the way that looked and we did it like at the top too, right here. So that's personal preference really but we liked the way it looked to see the indentions in the boards so you could see the spacing. I think people kind of do either or, but we liked the way that looked. So we just took a tool that was skinny enough to fit between each board. Let's see if I can get it to focus back up. But we just took a tool and like putty a putty knife yeah. and went between all the boards and then the same at the top so you could see the space between the boards. Evie's really excited about these extra boards. So that's where we're at at the moment. And then we'll show you once we do the distressing. What you drinking? Uh, we'll drink. You got a little whiskey and 7-Up going? Yep. Um, so now we're doing the side rails. Side rails. Um, so for I'm the really bed. I'm not sure how long they're going to be. I have an idea, so I'm just kind of prepping them. I've measured out the bed, and I'm going to prep them at least 84 inches and then probably cut off the excess because I'm not sure when I mount the head rail or headboard, how long it's gonna to need to be, so kind of winging it. I'm jamming out here too, huh? Um, just painting. Paint, paint, paint. Yep. I think I put see, four coats on the headboard and footboard. This is the first coat on the side rails, so I'll be ready to be done painting at the end of the day. I bet. I'm probably ready to be done painting now. <laughs> and he went and bought. Did you buy L brackets? Some brackets. Um, we're going to use to mount it. Um, so hopefully that holds it. <laughs> we do not own the copyrights to this song. <laughs> I always hear people say that. I don't know if it's like necessary. I don't think anybody. Um, oh goodness. Why are you dripping in the house? Okay. Um, then we got to de stress. Yeah. Put the finishing coat on. The, the wax line, that goes over it. Three to four hours, and then we'll be ready to start putting it together. Is that you trying to make it's a thumbnail? <laughs> this is my life right here. Okay. Uh, for the last two weekends, so. trying to get as much as I can today. So. I'm going to do it anymore. Yep. All right. TBD. Okay, so now we are going to start. We're gonna start trying to distress it a little bit. So we watched a couple of videos <laughs> of people distressing it with an orbital sander. So we're gonna try that. Are you gonna try the back first That's to see what idea. it looks like? Yep. <laughs> you know what? I am just full of good ideas. Yep. So I got 220 grit sandpaper, orbital sander smooth it out and then I'll kind of like on the edges and stuff try and sand it down a little bit more see how it goes all right so let's try the back first and see So 
I'll let him go for a while, then I'll come back. Uh, so, okay, we tried... Change of plans. <laughs> tried the oval sander. Not crazy about how it turned out. Yeah, we don't like it. because we didn't do a different, like a dark undercoat. It's, I think it might be hard to understand you with that mask on. We didn't do a dark, well, I'm sanding, so I only get the dust. Yeah, so I think if we would have stained underneath this thing, like, so this is what it ended up looking like. All you saw was like the bare wood. I think if we would have stained it dark underneath it and the dark wood would have come back out, that would have been like the look that we were going for. But because we didn't, that probably would have added another. Now, thing. all you see is the natural wood coming through, and it just doesn't look like what we thought it was going to look like. So now we're just kind of sanding a little bit to get a more smooth finish. Like that's what he's doing. But I don't think we're actually going to distress it like we thought. Nope. So, change of plans. Not going to do that. I tried to like ding it up on the back, but Brian didn't like the way that looked either. So. I made like some, not that, that looks stupid, but I tried to do this and ding up the paint a little bit, but Ryan didn't like that. So there's like some natural marks and stuff from, you know, like this and some things just from some imperfections in the wood. So we're just going to have to let that be what it is. So. I think if you're looking for more of a distressed look, you'll have to stain it dark first yeah, and then do all the other steps that we did. But since we did not do that, the distressing that we were doing does not look good. Or if you were already working with like a piece of furniture that was dark to be in with. But since we're not, it didn't look right. So we're just going to move forward with the wax and then put it together. So, live and learn. Glad we turned it on the front piece. Yeah. So, we'll show you when we get the wax moving forward. Okay. So, Brian just put the clear coat on this. I thought it was more like a wax, but it's like liquid. I think we mentioned that the product we got is Rust-Oleum. Oh yeah. It's like a chalk paint and this is a chalk protective top coat. Yeah that's the top coat It's just that we like used. a clear almost like a milky yeah. looks right there but it's like a milky it's like milky liquid. Put on and just take the top coat. Um, I'm just painting it. I can't really tell. And you said you'll probably just do one coat difference. you think? I think so. I think it needs to dry it makes it look a little more matte, I yeah, think, like matte compared to what finish. it did. Yeah. So this already has that coat on it. I don't know if you can really tell a difference with the lighting as right, the like sun's going down. Video, see if you can get here, but you can come see standing right here. Kind of see how the chalk paint look kind of finish. Yeah, so it looks like more matte now. It's really soft though. Like the feel of it is super soft. So then now he's just gonna do the footboard. Yep. Those are really smooth. Like butter. Melted butter. And then the paint that we used, I'll walk around and get that. Ignore the giant ass mess in our garage. But this is what we used was the Rust-Oleum Linen White. I asked originally if there was like another white because Linen White did not sound white to me. But this, when I looked on Rust-Oleum's website, this was the whitest white they had. So for whatever it's worth. That didn't sound very white to me. Linen white does not sound white to me, but. Well, it's white. But it's white. Ew, I just got that on me, but. Gonna do. And this is the top coat. So 
So that's what we're doing. Again, ignore the mess in our garage. Hey, it's an organized mess. I'm organized. Yeah, he knows. This is not my level of organization, but the pantry is my level of organization ish before the kids get into it. But. So it looks shiny until it dries and then it dries kind of dull, matte. So that's where we're at. And then he's just got to put it together. Yeah, just like that. Just like that. So we will follow back up when that's done. Well, here it is up in our room done and finished um i didn't video last night because it was like 9 30 and the lighting in here was kind of shitty and there were some slews of cuss words I'm trying to get everything together but it is done brian put um these pieces together there's like l brackets putting those together um we are getting new bedding I told Brian about that last night, but <laughs> we'll see how that works. But I feel like our pillows look super dingy now on our bed, but it's done. But now like we're rethinking all kinds of stuff or I am. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's a lot of light. So. Yeah. And like now our dresser and stuff doesn't really look white. Yeah, none of the other furniture matches. No, um, so. Our dressers are like a... Our dressers like are like more cream. Cream white. Or like, they're not white, white. And like now our curtains don't look white. I don't know. Everything sort of looks not white <laughs> anymore. So now we have to think about other stuff. So we're going to get different drawer pulls potentially think about redoing our end tables. I don't know. It's open to a can of worms now. A lot of pens flying around. Yeah. So, but overall, um, I think it, we think it turned out really nice. Right? Yeah. I'm really happy with it. Um, mounting. So I think we mentioned earlier in the previous video maybe, but the Headboard and footboard were basically just mounted um, around our existing metal um, bed frame. So the plans online originally called for building a whole new platform underneath, but since we already had the metal framing, I elected to just keep that and build around it, which ended up actually working out pretty well. You can kind of see. Heavy stop. I don't know if you can see on the side skirts over here, but. If you don't have a bed frame or don't have a box spring, you yeah. could do the plans. Yeah, but you can, I just use some um, metal braces, some L-shaped braces to mount the wood side skirt to the headboard and footboard, which helps keep this standing, obviously, and it's not going anywhere. Um, yeah, our main concern was like the kids, because our bed is, our mattress has like a topper on it, and so our bed is like fairly tall for the kids. So my main concern was the kids using this thing like as a stool. So I think it'll be sturdy enough. It's just not going to be sturdy if they like kicked that in. It's a little wonky, but... So we'll just see. We'll just see how that goes, but... And then I had to add like a two by four um, to mount the metal frame to yeah. the headboard. That was a, it was a game time minute, decision last night. Last minute thing. Um, but yeah, other than that, everything was very simple. Very happy with it. I mean, it took us two weekends to accomplish probably total two and a half days. Yeah. So last Sunday, I spent last the entire day last Sunday painting multiple coats. That's what took the longest, really. Yeah, if you didn't have... Like going to buy the wood and cutting it and putting it all together probably one day and then another full day and a half of 
prepping and painting and waiting on coats to dry. Yeah, and if you didn't have, like, kids interrupting you all the time, and if you were able to, like, both of you paint at the same time, it would go faster. Um, we just did not have that opportunity. Yes, you can get on the bed. So, yeah, that's what we knew would happen. So, we braced it a little extra in anticipation of them doing that. Because we knew that they would put their feet there and there to try to get on the bed. So, they already did that on our box spring or on like the metal frame of our bed, used it as like a ladder. So we knew they would do that with this because now they can't reach it. So uh, that's about it. So we will put everything we can in the description box below, but if you have questions, what? <laughs> okay, but if you have questions, well, would you rather them look at our dingy ass yeah. Bed? Okay. That's the point of the video. All right. All right. Um, but if you have any questions or comments, just put, put them below and then we can answer them as they come in. So thanks for following the headboard saga. Yeah, we'll, we'll have links and everything below to the plans that I used in the websites. So we're going to do some more DIYs, I think, yeah. on different things in the house because there's other stuff we want to do. Um in the house so we'll keep you guys updated on that and we'll just keep them on my beauty channel thanks guys